there. Welcome to the final challenge in the Thanksgiving series. Turkey Transporter is a student favorite every year. The premise on this one is simply to get the turkey as quickly and safely as possible from point A to point B. But before I get ahead of myself, let's take a look at the materials and the STEM challenge cycle. This is the STEM challenge cycle you should follow for every challenge. I've defined each step in another video. You can click on the title now to see the cycle explained. Two basic things you need to decide before the challenge starts. Are you going to give students time to color the turkeys? If so, you should make a copy for every student, even though they won't all be transported. And the second thing you want to decide is, Will the turkey be traveling a horizontal distance or will you be doing a vertical drop? Or you can always do both. Once you've made that decision, there are a couple of safety concerns that you might want to consider. Usually, if you are doing a horizontal transportation, students will usually create some sort of a zip line. Not always, but they might. When students design zip lines, frequently they want to have one student standing in a chair holding one end of the rope up high while the other is at the finish line holding the rope down low. If you don't want your students standing in chairs, you need to put that in the constraints list. If you're doing a vertical drop, it works best from a stairwell, but of course you're going to need to rope it off and have students stationed to warn passers-by so you don't drop things on their head. Even though it's light, nobody likes things dropping on their head. So I'll do a quick demo of the two designs we have here. This one's pretty simple. It's just a closed pin. It's part of a straw that's been cut and we have rope through the sides. Now part of the criterion constraints list is that the turkey must get from point A to point B as quickly as possible and as safe as possible. And in order for the turkey to have arrived safely, I, we need to not see any crumples or bends or folds. This design is simple and it's working pretty well. So as long as he arrives safely, I think this is gonna be a good contender. In this design, we have the turkey clipped to a small paper plate um, to give it a little bit of extra heft and weight. And we would watch him travel. Now you want to also encourage students to try different things. So perhaps he might move a little bit faster if instead of putting it through these metal rings, what if we put it through the actual black plastic clip part? It actually feels like it's gliding better. Plate gives it a little bit of added heft. So it should keep him pretty safe. There is one thing to think about. If your turkey becomes stuck on the rope, depending on the design, you need to decide if it's okay for students to shake the rope, um, which I usually allow them to do, um, but I won't allow them to come over and actually physically touch it and move it in that way. Although it might be fairly obvious, given that the turkey has to arrive safely, that you shouldn't throw the turkey or toss the turkey. Uh, I usually do put it in the criterion constraints list as a constraint that you can't throw the turkey to its destination. So you might be looking at this and thinking, this is entirely too simple. My kids would figure that out in a heartbeat. It would hardly be a design. So let's talk about some ways to make it a little bit more challenging if you have older kids. So first of all, do not show them this video and do not show them pictures of designs that are already done. Second, replace your binder clips with zip ties instead of just a few. You can either eliminate clothespins altogether or maybe just give them one. Uh, for straws, I, that's up to you. I think giving them a straw is not 100% obvious, but it does depend on your group. In addition to modifying materials, you can also increase the distance the turkey has to travel. If the turkey is traveling a horizontal distance, you can add a criterion that the feet must always be in contact with the ground, which will make things a lot more challenging. And of course, you can require students to do both the horizontal and the vertical drops. Now, I didn't really speak to the vertical drop, but a lot of times students will think to do a parachute for a vertical drop and a zip line for a horizontal. If you have students do both challenges, you can have the students create two different designs or require them to use the same design for both the horizontal and the vertical drop. To extend on this one, you can study turkeys. It's interesting to take a look at the difference between domestic turkeys and wild turkeys. If you have older students, you can calculate the official speed of the turkey in the turkey transporter by um, miles per hour or maybe, you know, meters per second. And this challenge has narrative writing written all over it. To me, this is a natural fit for a comic strip or a story or a play in which the turkey is using your design in order to escape some situation. You have all the basics, but I like to give you more. So there is a resource and it has more modifications, more extensions, student handouts. Check it out. Time is precious. Don't waste it recreating resources that already exist. Turkey Transporter contains everything you need, including modifications for use with second through eighth graders. You'll still need to gather the simple materials, of course, but the rest is done. You'll get a line next-gen science standards, 
links to my STEM challenge how-to videos to help you get the most from each challenge, and the turkey transporter materials list. In teacher tips, you'll find premise and setup, how to increase or decrease difficulty through the criteria and constraints list, measuring results, and cross-curricular extension suggestions. You'll find two versions of editable criteria and constraints list so you can tailor the challenge to your students. For student handouts, there are two versions, four-page expanded room for response for younger students and a two-page condensed space paper saver version. You'll also find a set of group discussion questions and a turkey to transport. In the extension handouts, you'll find calculating turkey speed handouts as well as math extension and process flow templates. This resource is available individually and as part of the discounted Thanksgiving and Mega STEM Challenge bundles. Links can be found in the description below the video. I'll be back next week with a video called All Students Deserve to Fail. You don't want to miss it. I'll see you next time. Make sure you don't forget to like and subscribe.